Hey, my name is Rocky, and I want to talk to y'all real quick about unschooling your children. And uh, if you know me, then you know that I took my children completely out of school like two years ago, and we unschooled. So, not homeschool, unschool. Homeschooling is basically, you know, taking school and bringing it home. So you still have a lot of school type stuff going on. With unschooling, it is where you are completely abandoning the traditional sense of schooling or, you know, the societal sense of educating or, or schooling your children. So a lot of people want to know why I did that. Again, I'm a single mother. I've got three children and I decided to take all them children out of school and have them at home with me all the time while still, you know, working and trying to figure out how to provide for them and all of that. So, of course, people are like, why would you want to do that? Why? I'll tell you why. And my reason may not be what you think for why I actually did. So, it's something that I have been thinking about for a while. We passed by FIU. Hold on. This I went to FIU, y'all. Let me, let me see if I can show you. I'm on the truck. Where is the building at? FIU. You see it? Bow. Okay. So why did I take, as a single mother, why did I remove my children from the whole school institution situation? Um, I have been thinking about it for a while because I actually once was a teacher. And when I was a teacher, I actually, I loved teaching, right? However, the focus and like the direction that I personally felt like schools was going just really wasn't, I wasn't with it. And the experience with like my children being in school, eh, it was, it just wasn't working, right? And here's the, here's the straw that broke the camel's back for me because it was two things. First, my second child, she had just got like old enough to be in like the pre-K programs and stuff. And they had like a free program. And I mean, if you're a single parent and there's a free pre-K program for you to put your child into, why not? You know, with that program, it was like I had to bring her there every single day and she had to be there like all day and things like that and I mean that's cool or whatever but it's like eh, she's three she's four like all day every day uh, so that was an issue to where it was like you're gonna force me to bring my child to this program and I didn't really agree with that because again we alive out here in the world like all these rules is ridiculous but the actual straw that really broke the camel's back for me and it was like this is when I put the withdrawal in like this happened and then withdrawal was in the next morning. We're done, right? I went to pick up my children. Let's say they got out of school at, let's just say they got out of school at three o'clock, right? I went to pick my children up at 1.30, maybe 1.15. And I was getting them out of school because my family was actually in town. We were gonna ride over and get on a boat to go to like this little private beach or whatever and have some fun. I go to pick the kids up so we can get ready to head out and they don't give me the children. They're like, nah, it's too close to, you know, school's out time or whatever. We ain't gonna let the kids out. You gotta wait for them to get out. So which I'm like, oh, all right. I understand that even though I felt like, you know, it's an hour and a half before they let out, like, seems like there's enough time for them to get their bag and come up here and let's go but okay then when it was time to let the children out they let me know that they would not bring the children up front for me to pick them up from here at school i had they gonna get on the bus and i gotta go catch them at the bus stop so now you done made me wait here for an hour and a half two hours now I gotta try to head out. All these cars are here now. Mind you, I'm at the school and it's school pickup drop off time. Now I gotta try to get out of here 
go catch them at the bus stop we like three hours at that point right behind then we got to try to get ready and go and that honestly for me that was it how you not gonna give me my turn my turn okay and it's an hour and a half before and that just felt like that felt like way too much control for me and so you know i i, I went to the bus stop we went we had we went on the boat had a good time all that stuff and the next day i put in i put in that withdrawal and it was scary right because you don't know what to expect when you're going against something that first of all i went through all the school from kindergarten all the way through college and to then go and say i'm gonna do something totally different with my children like that was really scary but i'm so happy that i did it and uh yeah that's why <laughs> that's why i took my children out of school finally because i went to go pick them up and the school did not give them to me and then they made me go catch them at the bus stop instead of having them come up to the front when it was let outside and that felt like the school was like basically giving me the middle finger <laughs> i felt offended <laughs> and that i was done with school from there um, so yeah, it's been great. The girls are just fine. They're living their best life. And uh, yeah, if I could go back, I probably would have, I should have did it a long time ago. So if you're considering single parent or if you have both parents in the home, whatever, if you're considering taking your children out of school, I support it. I support the thought. I think it's a great move. I think more families need to do it however just know it's gonna take more intentional action from you because now you're training the child mind you that's all school is you're just training the child and just because that child is not going to be in the institution of school they still need training to be successful in life so just keep that in mind but that's it i just want to come up here and tell y'all why i took the kids out of school because people be asking tell me what you think do you think a single mom should be taking her kids out of school and raising them herself without a man in the house huh <laughs>